such great song. You know each other? Yes, yes we did. Yeah. I was like, if that's how you embrace a stranger, it's incredible. Yeah. Well, how's your new year going? My new year's going, I'm just, I'm on the Kelly Clarkson show. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Started very, very well. Started well. well. It's beautiful. Yeah. No, it's amazing, amazing new year for me. Um, yeah. I, I feel like I'm living into the dreams I had as a kid mm -hmm. now. Beautiful. You know? Yeah. And so when, when, when that happens in your life and now you're in a reality, it's, mm -hmm. it's very strange. You're just trying to stay in the moment as much as possible and yeah. take it in. Take yeah. it in. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think, like, playing Dr. King, like, what did, what did that teach you? Like, what did you learn from that? Do you know, strange, as much as I'm having a great year now, last year was crazy difficult. Like, loads of losses and family mm -hmm. losses. And mm -hmm. when I was actually, um, when I was playing the character, one of my favorite speeches by him was, um, like any man, I'd like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. Mm -hmm. But I'm not worried with that now. I'm trying to do God's will. And that really shaped my, my life, actually. Kind yeah. of leaning into that. You're not going to always be in control of things. You know, things change. Isn't it freeing, lot. though, when you let go of that? You let go of it yeah. and you just you allow life and whatever you believe in to guide you in a new way. So mm -hmm. that was, that, that's what I've kind of taken from having the honor of playing Dr. King, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, I know. Yeah. Did you feel... Like, Scared? Yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, if somebody was just like, I want you to play, I would be like, no. Nah, yeah, no, I'm a British yeah. boy from North London. You know, you're like, oh my goodness, they want me to play Dr. King? Yeah. But, um, but you know, I, I got really uh, blessed, lucky. Uh, George C. Wolfe saw something in me. Mm. And I'm very talented as well. Well, that's the very kind of you. It's yeah. very kind of you. And it was like, you know, it was that opportunity to uh, step into what you've been trying to cultivate your entire life. You're an actor, you know. Yeah. We, we work and we, we're waiting for that moment yeah. to really step into something powerful uh, yeah. and to play someone that is iconic but find a grounded way of kind of attaching to them. You found that with Aretha, I'm yeah. sure, right? Yeah, so, yeah. That was... So it's, it, it, was, it was definitely that moment for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you're celebrating music as a movement. So music, that's got to be important in your life, right? Oh, music, you're too passionate. You came out here yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he likes the, the, music. As soon as like, they yeah. hit the thing, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you like to listen to? Oh, uh, my... Taste is eclectic from like, we can go like Fela Kute, mm. we can go, you know, uh, gigs. She, said, she we made can a go, sound, an actual just guttural uh, sound. Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah. Marvin Gaye. Listen, I, I did musicals as a kid. Like, yeah. I played little Sammy Davis Jr. and the Dolson story. Yeah. I did Oliver. I'm actually, my next film as a director will be directing a musical. Oh uh, my gosh, that's okay. awesome. Okay, all right, I see you. <laughs> I, uh, wait, that's incredible. You know what I mean? Is this Let's put pressure on her now. Yeah. Since you're a kid that you're now getting to yeah, step into? Yeah, I got an opportunity to direct uh, my first feature film a year and a half ago. Yeah. And I'm getting another opportunity to direct, like, a, a much bigger feature film. And it's set around music. Yeah. It's set around music. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm excited. Like, and in it is kind of Portuguese love by uh, <gasps> Tina Marie. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know? oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, she, she, right? she did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, your voice would be perfect. Oh, right. Right. Her singing at the Oscars. We're just putting it's in just our things. Like, we're putting it in our happen. things. Yes. Wait. I heard that when you were a kid, you, were you around like 11 when you worked with Michael Jackson? That's so, crazy. So it was 1996. Okay. At Mel's 11 years old, and I'm there, like, oh my gosh, like here, like, oh my god, this is amazing. And this guy comes up and goes, all right, Michael Jackson's about to come in. Nobody talk to Michael. Don't even look at Michael. Don't even. Do and I'm like, okay. So all of a sudden, the doors open. Poof, yeah. And this guy comes and you're, in. Hee, hee. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> There's bodyguards all around him. He's in his white robe. He's coming through like this. He's in a and then all of a sudden he jumps on the stage. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then he leans down to me and he goes, why is everybody so quiet? And he has a deep voice. What? Like Michael Jackson actually had a deep voice. I was like, <laughs> and he goes, uh, hi, my name's Michael. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, I, I can't look at you, sir. You're like, you're so like, that you're... was the Brit Awards 1996, oh famously God. when um, Jarvis Cocker came on stage. Oh my gosh, you were there. I was the little boy in the top. Wait, what happened? Oh, of course. Yeah, it was me. Wait, what happened? Oh, no, I didn't so, even know that. Yes, I was there. I've been I around for a while. I didn't see it. Someone tell me what happened. <laughs> You can watch it on YouTube, oh my everyone. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm there, I'm, I'm a little boy, I've got a turban on, and I'm standing right next to Michael Jackson. Jarvis Cocker jumps on stage, he's singing the Earth song, and he shows his, I don't know if we can say it, bottom? Is that okay yep. to say? Shows That's his bottom. Yeah. 
shows his ass. Yeah. And, and, and kind of mocking uh, Michael Jackson. Then everybody jumps on stage and running around and kid, uh, the bottles flew and people got hit in their face. And it was wild. It was crazy. And I, I was one of the kids that didn't get hit, but I cried like I did get hit because I thought, I could get a deal here. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, something could happen. I was like, oh, I'm... Oh, I'm my God. Hurt. I'm injured. Where's I'm my injured. money? And Michael Jackson <laughs> ended up taking all those kids to a place called Brent Cross Shopping Centre. For any, nice. Well, you would know. Yeah. And 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 Very got everybody nice. PlayStations. What? What? I never got the PlayStation, you but never. you know. I never. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> well, we need to do a short commercial break, everybody. You can see Rustin on Netflix.